Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? It's the homie Jojo back for another video. And today we're going to be talking about trip at night. And we're going to be talking about if it flopped, judging off of the first week sales now it's out, you feel me? But before we get into the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on for more trippy red content. I've been giving it to y'all, so go ahead and click it if you guys want more. Because yes, we posting that joint all 2021, you feel me? Follow the Instagram at Jojo Scout underscore. DM me on there to get your promo or your song presented on jinx tunes first link in description subscribe to that man and like and comment if you guys thought trip at night flop bro but no time to waste let's get right into it i'm a rock star i need a rock star bitch i got a rock star wrist i'm on some rock star shit okay boy so basically trip at night dropped like a week ago now the first week sales are finally out now people are trying to say that it flopped people are trying to say that it isn't I'm here to basically break down to you guys why this is a W, bro. And I know you guys gonna be like, yo, Jojo, why you defending Trippy Red? It's not me defending Trippy Red, it's just me using logic, judging off of other album sales, which people said that was a W. You feel me, bro? So let's talk about it, bro. Basically, Trip at Night sold 80,000 units first week. Now, that's, I'm pretty sure, Trippy Red's like third highest album drop. And it was like number two on the billboard and on iTunes and all that stuff right behind Rod Wave, I'm pretty sure, bro. Yes, this dude lost to Rod Wave. I was like, bro, what? But hey, man, it sold 80,000 first week and people are saying it's an L. Now, guys, this cannot be an L because when Playboy Cardi dropped a whole lot of red, it sold 100K first week. Now, let's be honest. 20,000 is not that far from each other, you feel me, bro? 100K, 80,000, that's not that far from each other. Now, we gotta mention this. You guys did say that it selling 100K first week was a W, and it was pure album sales, you feel me? But check me out. Whole lot of red had better high expectations, and I'm talking about it was wanted more by the fans. It was just had more hype to it. More than Trip at Night, yes, it had more than Trip at Night, even though Trip at Night was like a high anticipated album drop, it was not as close to a whole lot of red. Now, if you guys was to say it was close to each other, I'd be like, bro, you guys know you capping, bro. Even if you was a Playboy Cardi fan and, or a Trippy Red fan, you can admit, bro, it was not as close to each other. But yet, it still sold 20,000 less than each other, you feel me, bro? So how can we say this is an L? And on top of that, bro, basically Trippy Red said that iTunes or Apple Music, I forgot which one, was messing around with his, like, plays or whatever because they kept on dropping track, like, different albums, like, album one, album two, for some reason, you feel me, bro? So if people searched up Trip at night, they'll listen to a different one, and I'm pretty sure the other one would not count to his album sales. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I don't know if that's 100% true, but, bro, that could actually be the reason because... Trip at Night was like supposed to sell like 150k, that's what the fans said, but realistically that was on us, we just gave it a high expectation, it should have never been that high judging off the fact that a whole lot of Red didn't even sell 150k, like let's be real, I feel like in 2021 we're giving songs and albums too much of a high expectation bro, like we're like, you really thought it was going to sell that much bro, I, I should have been thinking about that yo, but hey, it did pretty good, 80,000 first week man, they need to bring back the bundles though, because they definitely messing with these artists' bags, but 80k first week is not bad bro, like, and on a real note though, I'm surprised that y'all are really saying that this is an L, because if your favorite artist was to drop an album right now, and his first week sales was to be like 20k, y'all be like, but hear me out, it sold this much because da 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 da, you feel me bro, how you guys gonna pick and choose bro 80,000 is pretty good you feel me bro and I'm pretty sure that the Drake feature like kind of messed the whole entire thing up I guess he actually should have dropped it with the album you feel me but after he dropped it, it the sales did go up so I guess you could say it still did help it out but like come on bro y'all be picking and choosing on which one is the W you feel me bro like come on G like I feel like it, it's understandable if you guys say it's a W because da 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 if the fans are like being real dumb and they saying this is an L, you guys really got to explain it sometimes, you feel me? But if you guys got to be like, this is a W because he didn't do, you know what I'm saying, bro? No, bro. I'm saying this is a W because y'all consider this album drop a W and it was very close together on sales. Even though that this album had higher expectation, you feel me, bro? I'm really coming with the, you feel me, the backup story and all that joint, boy. Stop playing. Now, I know a lot of people said that they was not going to buy Trip at Night because they thought that album was repetitive and i kind of understand that because a lot of the songs did sound alike you feel me but we can't blame that on the fans we only gotta blame that on trippy red if we gonna be honest so that part is on him bro 
we gotta hold him accountable for that, you feel me? Nobody told him to like make all the songs sound alike. One thing about Trippy Red is he's different. You know what I'm saying, bro? So he should make all the songs on the album different too, you feel me, bro? But yeah, 80,000 ain't bad for a repetitive album, you feel me, G? Like, and I'm pretty proud of Trippy Red because, man, I thought I was gonna do. <sighs> Imagine it didn't leak though, bro. But I really thought I was gonna do terrible, bro. Judging off the fact that it leaked. I was like, ooh, bro, but I was like, eh, it dropped, the lead dropped probably like two days before it dropped, you feel me? So it kind of did affect it. If it didn't leak, it probably would have sold like 90,000 first week. You know what I'm saying, bro? But either way, that's still a good number. But that's it for today's video, man. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on for more trippy rec content and SoundCloud artist content on the channel all 2021. Stop playing around, boy. Follow the Instagram at Jojo Scout underscore. DM me on there to get your promo or your song presented. It on Jinx Tunes, first link in the description, bro. Subscribe to that and comment down below what you guys was thinking, bro. Like, you guys thought Trip at Night was fire? Did you buy the album or did you guys like think that it's a flop or not, bro? Personally, I'm saying this gotta be a W, you know what I'm saying? It's a huge W, I can't even say a mini one, bro. But yeah, bro, and that's it for today's video, bro. Hey, stop playing around, Bobby, and giving you guys that creepy wreck content. So go ahead, click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next video. Rap World Lifestyle, Fufu Gang, I'm out, boy. Yeah.